the new 2012 Nissan GTR, a giant leap forward, the promise fulfilled. Three years of scrutinizing every aspect, every component of this astounding machine. The result? 530 horsepower, enhanced aerodynamics, a retuned suspension, and larger brakes. From the way air flows over and under the sheet metal, to the pattern and compound of the tires, and everything in between, the 2012 GTR has been designed for one simple goal to once again redefine what a supercar can be. To know where you're going, you must first understand where you've been. Seven minutes, 38.54 seconds. The news sent shockwaves around the world. In 2007, at a time attack at Germany's legendary Nürburgring, the world's most torturous track, the all-new Nissan GTR became the world's fastest production car. The GTR proved up to the ring's challenge, shattering the current record, then held by Porsche. But for chief engineer Kazutoshi Mizuno, the man who brought Nissan to Le Mans, this remarkable feat was merely a glimpse of what the GTR could be. He promised an endless evolution, with a giant leap to come three years later. Returning to Nürburgring over the next two years, the GTR was already on the right path, shaving seconds off its previous record. And now, the story continues. A return to the ring for the development and testing of the 2012 Nissan GTR. GTR customers have very high expectations. The team has devoted the past three years to ensure the GTR achieves not just the fastest times, but the world's highest performance in all areas. The GTR that arrives in Germany shows extensive changes. Enhanced aerodynamics give the 2012 GTR a fresh look. Coefficient of drag is reduced from 0.27 to 0.26, thanks in part to the revised front and rear fascia. Equally impressive is a 10% increase in downforce. Horsepower climbs to 530, 45 more than last year's model. Still, fuel efficiency is improved, and CO2 emissions are reduced. Mizuno knows this car is better. The question is, how much? September 2010. Coming from all parts of the globe, the GTR team converges on the Nürburgring. A hand-picked group of designers, engineers, factory workers, and of course, test drivers. Many disciplines, one goal. Reaffirm the GTR's status as the world's fastest production car. Known as the Green Hell, the Nürburgring is 13 miles long with 73 bends. It challenges car and driver with stomach-dropping elevation changes, pulse-quickening blind corners, and hair-raising off-camber turns. It earns its infamy from sections like this steeply banked left-hand hairpin, aka the carousel. A test of braking, chassis rigidity, steering, response. Every dynamic system of a car must be up to the task, or your time is ruined. This is where enhancements to the new GTR prove their worth. A new carbon fiber engine chassis brace that increases stiffness. Adjustments to shock tuning that improve ride quality and help keep the wheels firmly planted on the pavement. Larger front rotors that increase the already awesome braking power and additional refinements to help reduce brake fade. New, lighter alloy wheels reduce unsprung weight for quicker reflexes. The team once again studied the tires exhaustively completely redesigning the structure, the compound, and even the tread pattern. As the driver pulls in from one of the initial time attacks, Mizuno checks the lap time. Seven minutes, 24.22 seconds, already two seconds faster than the previous year. But the team wastes no time celebrating. They've got work to do. Gather the data, analyze it, tune, calibrate, refine and then it's back to the ring for another attack. A process repeated over and over. It's been a great experience to come here and every year see my lap time improve. I have a sense of being one with the car. I can drive it exactly the way I want to. The time had come to go for the record. Unfortunately, the weather that had been threatening all day moves in. The rain means the GTR doesn't get the opportunity to record an official time. The earlier trial run of 7-24-22 will have to stand unofficially. 
We are almost finished. When I look at the results from the various tests, I'm convinced the car is becoming even better than I expected. Even though the time of 7 minutes 24.22 seconds is not full potential, we will accept that and move on to the next step. 7 minutes 24.22 seconds. Official time or not, the Nissan GTR has fulfilled its mission. One thing is for sure, the car, the elite team, and the passion for being the best will return once again to the Nürburgring. It will be soon, and Nissan's supercar will be faster than ever before. Thank you.